smoke, we die, no smoke, we duck, no smoke, we die, no smoke, we duck, we duck, we dodge, we dodge, we duck, we duck, we dodge, no smoke. First time full self driving. In 500 feet, once we get on the road, we're gonna see what that full self driving is all about. Instant it was. I'm talking about. Oh, uh, instant. Like, Look. normally have to call the call center. Go instant. through customer service. Instant. They set up an account. Or instant. Instant. Tell you it should be ready in 24 to 40 hours within a week. Or instant. <laughs> New car instantly. Quick download. All right, guys. Let's see. We're in town, so I don't know how the full self driving does in town, allegedly. All right. Let's see. I know on the highway it will change. Now I wonder is it gonna get over? Since we're gonna turn left up here, we're gonna find out if it's gonna get over or not. Alright, touch the wheel. I touch the wheel. Alright, so red light, red light, red light. That's on though. That's what? It's on for the uh the red light detection. I gotta make sure it's on in here. That's good enough. But it's not for yeah. in town though. It's for. Oh, they say uh, that. Yeah, yeah, they say it's not oh, for in town. Okay. But uh, I wanted to see what it was. What it was gonna say? Now, allegedly, the green light chime is on for when there's a green light that it should chime. We're gonna find out here once this light turns green if it chimes or not. I see autopilot. What? And it's off. Yeah, that's what it was. Navigate on autopilot. But, um, yeah, and that green light chime is off. I thought I saved it. I guess it didn't save. So we're going we're gonna to do that. We're going to put it in park. And we'll, we'll do that. So what I was expecting to do, it wasn't going to do it because it's not on. Let's cut it on. Let's put it in park. Real quick, hurry up. Why that light? Boom. Yes. Yes. Green light. All right, here we go. We in there. So now the auto steer is on. Navigate on autopilot is on. And we're gonna cut it on and see if it will put us on our exit. Here we go. First test. All right, so all that stuff is on. All those settings on auto steer and everything is in there. Let's see. We're gonna find out if it's gonna take the exit or not. I know on the highway it should take the exit. We're gonna find out. It's doing everything. I'm not doing anything. Navigate on navigate on autopilot. It never said that before. So that's new for sure. Navigate on autopilot. Okay, it should stop too. I, relax. It's, it's, it's stopping. It's stopping. It's stopping. There we go. And it's going. It's going. But this was not there before. Navigate on autopilot. Navigate on autopilot. Man, do I need it to hit that? Navigate on autopilot. Okay, maybe it won't before. It's blue now. That looks like it's on when it's in blue. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it wasn't on before. I'm learning. It's my first time. Woo! Oh. Woo! Woo! That was dangerous. That's how you put. See, wow, that was that all was that's on dangerous. tape. Yes. Y'all saw I hope that. I, saw, I hope I was holding it up. All that's on tape, buddy. Cut. That was too close. Yeah, man. This is not the area to race nobody here. Nah. Well, it was three vehicles, correct? Yeah, it was three of them. It's just some them little egos, little Subaru folk. The little Subaru people. That's crazy. All this traffic. All this traffic. But anyway, <laughs> our exit is two miles from here. So we're going to see what it does on the highway. I want to see if it's going to take this exit or not. But the autopilot itself, without self-drive, I mean, that's been a good experience. Look at this. It do feel like it break a little late sometimes, though. It do feel like it break a little late, later than my, my taste. Look at these guys. Yeah. You got your license tag there, buddy. <laughs> they ain't learned. They ain't learned. 
That's just terrible. Terrible driving. And I'm okay with you having fun and enjoying your vehicle. But you know but what? You need to if, do it if, safely. if I wasn't on cruise control, I would have been going faster. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have been faster. I would have been closer to that car. So they wouldn't even have been able to squeeze in like that. But that was totally out of line, that move that they made. Totally out of line. All right, it's going to take off. That was interesting, though. All that bad driving they did. Go ahead. Y'all have road rage or death. Y'all want to mess with each other. Y'all go right on here. All right, navigate on autopilot is on. Look at this thing just driving itself. Yeah, they doing too much of that. You can hear all that noise they make. All that lane changing. But yeah, the normal autopilot to me is really good on the highway. And I've used it not just on the highway, but just, you know, just driving around and then keep the car in the lane. Take us on the exit though. What do you want? I wanna see if they're gonna get over. What? Neil? About to find out. Point eight miles away. Is the car gonna take the exit or are we gonna have to take the exit? Stopping for traffic, right there. Stopping for traffic. Yeah. Stopping for traffic. It's working. That's interesting. You hear that? I'm not doing any of that. Right, point three. I want to see if it's going to actually take the exit. Let's find out. I want to see if it's going to take the exit. There we go. We should, we should be taking this exit right here. Is it going to put a signal on and take the exit for us? No, take the interstate it, it didn't. South ramp on the right. It didn't. It did not. So it, it did not get over. Or was I supposed to put the turn signal on and it's oh. gonna get over? Hmm. Gotcha. All right. Let's see if it emerged for us. All right. With this traffic, we're gonna be merging two miles per hour. What we're gonna be doing. Look, yes, see that? Upcoming lane change. It's telling you that it'll, it'll do it for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself. It's just too unpredictable with all this crazy traffic. So I had to put the signal on. It was not gonna just get off on the exit without me at least putting the signal on. There you go. I'm sure that's in the instructions that I didn't read. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So it's safe to say you put your signal on, the autopilot will attempt to safely get over to the direction that you're trying to get over. But what I do like about autopilot period, like this traffic right here, man, just let it drive you. Just let it drive you and all this start and stop traffic this dc virginia traffic starting and stopping is done for you you just sit back and relax and 
touch the wheel every now and then. Now, this blue line was not there before. That was, that was not there before. Or these arrows in the other lane, that was not, that was not there before on autopilot versus full self-driving. So it's taking in more data is what I believe it's doing. Or displaying more data. It probably was taking in the data the whole time, just not displaying it. Yeah, so we have to initiate the lane change. So if you have, if you don't have a Tesla yet, and you watch this video, you learning right alongside me. But when you get your Tesla, you will already know how to do it. So make sure you drop a note after you use my code mm -hmm. in the description and below in this video. Make sure you use my code to order your Tesla, so you can get 1,000 free supercharger hours, and I can get 1,000 free supercharger miles as well. Not hours, miles. Okay. Upcoming lane change? Okay. I didn't initiate it. We, so maybe this lane runs out or something? Okay, slow us down. It's slowing us down. It does wait a little. It does break a little harder than I probably would. And maybe that's a preference. Maybe maybe that's normal. Maybe that's how people drive. I break a lot earlier than that. Upcoming lane change. I wonder what is the upcoming lane change? Only thing I can think of is this lane runs up. But it's saying we need to 48B is the next exit we get off on. 48B. Confirm lane change? Yeah. Oh wow, it just lane changed. Oh wow. It just lane changed. Oh, I think it wants us to ride in this lane and not in the right lane. So the Tesla's preference is to ride in this middle lane, not the right lane, maybe because cars are merging in from there and not the, the far left lane, because you just shouldn't just ride in the far left lane unless you're going that fast with the flow of traffic passing. We just figured out something real time. We just figured out something real time. So again, those of you that are going to buy a Tesla, you you ahead of the game because we making the mistakes for you touch the steering wheel I will and also here you can increase the speed by rolling the dial up see you just increase the speed by rolling the dial up all right we out here Tesla I think that was a good test y'all so full self-driving is added now with the subscription it's two hundred dollars a month if you get the subscription all right, and we're gonna do this test a, a little bit more on our road trip to Disney. So stand by for more uh, FSD tests, more uh, summons tests. Stand by for that. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. All right, tell somebody about us. All right, and on Instagram, check us out. All the links are in the description of this video. Y'all have a good one. We duck, no smoke. We die, no smoke. We duck, no smoke. We die, no smoke. We duck.